Kia ora Fanimals, we're here at Auckland Zoo today and we are lucky enough to hang out with Dr Lydia Udstrom, who's a vet. Now, what are we going to do today? Well today, yes, we are going to go and have a look at some of our outpatients. So here at the zoo we look after all of our animals, some of them are in the hospital, but some of them are in their enclosures and we're going to go have a look at some of those guys. So who are we seeing today? So first up we've got Mikalo, he's a little Nyala cat. Oh, very cute. And we're just going to collect a little bit of blood. He's a little bit smaller than his brothers and his sister, and we just want to make sure that everything's going all right with him. Mikalo has been brought into an enclosure for his vet visit, and he's got a friend with him for support. So we've got a couple of our keepers here, so we've got Jade and Tommy, and Hi, these are the guys that know Mikalo really well. Might be a little bit wriggly, he's not used to being held how we need him to be held for his blood tests. Mikalo looks a bit unsure, but he's staying calm. Just want to have a look at his teeth, make sure his teeth are all good. I will start with the little one. Yep, right here. Oh boy. And easy as that, we have a blood sample so we can run some tests. So that went really well. Yay. Um, so he was really, really good for us to get that little blood test. And he's now back out with his family. So first job of the day done and then Nyala can head back out into their habitat. Auckland Zoo look after two elderly kikino. There's Kayako, who's almost blind, and Ottawa, who needs a special checkup today on his left eye. We're actually going to put a little bit of stain in his eyes, and that helps if there was any roughness on the surface of the eye that would show up for us. So it starts off orange, and goes in, and actually goes yellow and green. Whoa, it goes yeah. bright green. Really bright green. Wow. Um, so what Odin's going to do now is ask him to go back into the water and that'll wash off the excess of the stain, so or the extra stain will wash away. <laughs> so you can see the green sitting just around the outside of the eye, which is really normal, yeah. but there's not any on the surface Obvious. in the middle yeah. of the eye. So that's brilliant, that's exactly what we want to see. So thankfully, Ottawa has a healthy eye and he can keep doing his spectacular leaps and splashes while we go and finish our rounds. So last patient for today, we're going to have a look at a little leopard tortoise that had surgery earlier in the year. Let's go see how he's healing. You can just see it's just by his knee. Oh yeah, I see that. Um, just that little, little bit of skin. Scab. Yeah, exactly, that tiny little bit of skin that's healing up really well. This little boy, he's 13 and a half. Wow. Um, he's actually still not fully grown, so they get bigger than this. Okay. And what we're going to do, we'll actually have a quick look at one of the little babies as well, for the oh two-year-old. So here we go, a two-year-old, wow. a baby, if you will. Wow, Gorgeous. they're so tiny. His little blinking eyes are very, very cute. And if you take, just take hold of the underneath, the tummy, if you like, and the top of the shell. Oh, he just did a wee! You've been initiated as a keeper. <laughs> Oh, the full package. Oh. The full package. Look at that. Oh. Lucky you. That's good luck that... for the rest of the day, surely. Oh, mate, you and I are close now. <laughs> Lydia, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you and do the morning rounds. It's wonderful to see how happy and healthy all of these animals are. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for coming along. Stoked. <laughs>